Hey y'all, I have some exciting news that I'm not going to tell you till the end of the video. So you got to watch till the end and you can't be sneaky and forward to the end of the video, watch the news and then come back and continue watching it. You just got to wait, let the excitement build because it's super fun and I can't wait to share this with you. You guys, when the gardener gets sick, bad things happen. Look at my fennel. Oh my goodness, but it's still alive. You can see it's pushing out babies. So we're going to trim it up and I am actually going to move all of this into the interior of the Maypop mansion because there's room in there and it will be much easier to keep an eye on. I have a lot of my potted trees in there right now and I'm just gonna move them out or down onto the, the floor, you know, the floor of the Maypop Mansion, because it has a floor. And then I'm gonna put all of these guys up on those little white crates. When last we spoke, I was in the middle of moving my bronze fennel and dill and parsley into the Maypop Mansion. And then it started to rain. I didn't even get to finish moving it all. And it rained for two days straight. <laughs> I was inside. But the sun is out now. I'm going to continue finishing moving it all in there. But let me tell you something. When I just now walked into the Maypop Mansion, it smelled so good in there. Having all of those herbs growing, especially the dill. And I don't know something about being all there, all there together in that little enclosure. It was lovely. I'm so excited about having that be a thing for me every day to walk in there and just, mm, I love the smell of dill. So I'm going to go finish moving them in and then I'll show you the, the whole thing. Look how full it is. And I still got more to bring, but on my way in and out, I just noticed this is my um, Pineland passion flower. Um, and I saw that. And so there we go. Another little golf fritillary caterpillar. The host plants that I have in pots for the eastern black swallowtails are now in the Maypop Mansion. You guys look at this big guy right here just out sunning himself. <laughs> How did I miss him? He's huge. He's definitely going inside because we're not letting him get this far and then not make it all the way to become a golf fritillary. How adorable. Look at his little face. Come here, sir. Look, he's turning away. He's, he's bashful. One of you posted, was it on YouTube? I don't think so. Maybe it was on my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page. I post all of my photos there. Um, so if you like my photos or want to see photos of butterflies, go follow my Facebook page. It's the same name as here, Butterfly Gardening Inspirations. But one of you posted and told me that the Dollar Tree had zinnia seeds, four for a dollar, four packs for a dollar. And so one of those rainy days over the weekend, I said to my husband, I said, let's go to the Dollar Tree. As you know, that's, that's an exciting outing for us. So we went and I found them. Wait till you see what all I got. It is going to be so fun. We're going to try it out and see if they grow. When can you get something for a quarter? One packet is a quarter. I don't even think the old gumball machines you know, where you would put a, a quarter in and get like the little plastic container with a toy or a gumball out. I don't even think those are around for a quarter. 
Y'all remember Penny Candy? Mm -hmm. I, I, I used to love Penny Candy. When we were in elementary school, there was a little store. It was called the, a, the AG, the A-N-G Market. That was right outside our school. And we were allowed to leave on lunch, us little kids just roaming around. So my friend and I, we would go collect um, empty soda bottles, like 7-Up, you know, the glass bottles where you could turn them in and they give you like, I don't know, seven cents a bottle or something like that. We collect a bunch of them and turn them in and then we would spend all our money on penny candy and we get these little brown bags full of candy and take them back to school and eat it in school. You, 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 you can do that now. You, you'd be in trouble now. And kids can't be left to their own devices and roam free on their lunch break anymore. It's, it's just a different world. But anyway, <laughs> apparently you can still get zinnia seeds for a quarter. And that's a fabulous thing. Let's go see what I got. Okay, y'all want to hear something funny? I recorded this whole part of the video and I have a new clip on microphone and it was clipped on my jacket which I took off and left in the house <laughs> so it was in the recording silence on my jacket while I was doing all this talking but these are the seats I bought look at the zinnias and parsley and they were four for a dollar and I got Cosmo, so hopefully I can get more of those little fuzzy caterpillars like the one that I got last year that became that gorgeous leopard moth. And we're going to go ahead and try planting some of the parsley and see how it does. Because I don't want to plant everything and use up all my seedling containers if they're not going to grow. Isn't that funny? So fortunately, I learned how to do a voiceover. So you still get to hear whatever I was talking about when I was holding up this parsley and zinnia seed packet. And I'm just making up stuff now because apparently I talked longer when I filmed this first and I don't know what to say now. Oh good, it's over. Okay, so I decided to plant some parsley and you see the little tiny parsley seeds pouring out. And I decided to put three in each little container, but when I said three, a fourth one popped out, you know, just because my seeds had to try me and uh, do the opposite of what I was saying. And then I put them on the little tray under a grow light and I put the little top on. Oh, then I stapled the seed packet to the little stick thing that um oh gosh what do you call it that names what the seeds are then <laughs> i put the little top on for humidity you guys that was hysterical <laughs> i literally would sit on my editor and watch the video play and then i had to talk along and try and remember what i said <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. Anyway, I, I hope it was tolerable and I hope you laughed along with me. And now on to the rest of the video. You guys, I have something very special in my hand right now. This is my very first overwintered giant swallowtail. Look, here it is. With the barking dog in the background. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. I'm going to go take some pictures. All right, there it is. You know, I notice a lot of times with the giant swallowtails is they like to just sit and bask in the sun a little bit right when I release them. So I'm going to go let this beauty sunbathe. 
How fabulous. So let's just take a moment now that we release that beautiful butterfly. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. And see who's in the lepidarium. My queens are growing very nicely. And who else? I think there's a monarch on this particular cutting. Yep, you can see his little shadow. You see his little shadow through? There it is. Sweet baby. And let's see. This one I just brought in a leaf. It's actually inside there. But they probably haven't climbed onto the plant yet. And I don't want to like make the leaf fall. So I'm not going to um, pick that one up. But this one. There's some people on here. Oh, look what just happened. Do you see that? I just said I don't want to make anyone fall off. Do you see the little straggler right there? Mm hmm They attach on with their silk. All right, so let me help him out. I'm just going to swing it up so it can get back on. Yeah, that's exactly what I said I didn't want to do, and I did it anyway. <laughs> okay. There you go, baby. All right, there's a little monarch. There's another one right there. I think that's all on this this one. This is the swamp milkweed cutting I brought in when I filmed the if you're planning on starting a butterfly garden. And there's a little baby caterpillar right there. And then I've got some golf fritillaries in here also. Got a couple of bunches of me pop. This is this little guy I just brought in. He's still on his leaf. And the other big one, where's he? Oh, here's a little one. I know there's some more on here, but I'm not going to go dig and hunt for them. Once I move them in, I kind of try and leave them alone. That big one was over here. You see, oh, he's still there. That's the one I just brought in, too. Just set his little leaf back here, and he'll just hang on there. And when he's ready to crawl off, he will. And now for my exciting news. I am retiring from teaching and I'm early retiring. Fortunately, I can early retire. So my last day is March 18th and I'm going to focus 100% of, of my time on growing plants for my nursery business and filming for you guys and doing photography for my Facebook page and I am so excited. Um, I feel like I gave my all to teaching and for personal reasons and some things that have changed in the world of teaching and my own mental health, which is hugely important. I made the decision and my husband's 100% behind me and I'm so excited. You guys, I am so excited. I will get to spend more time filming videos for you all. I'm so excited. Did I say I'm so excited? I need this in my life. I need this so much and I'm not going to go into details, but it's been hard and I'm going to be free and I cannot wait. And if you are out there cheering me on and want to support me in my endeavor, <laughs> join my channel, be a channel member. I'll leave the information in the first comment. <laughs> um, and there's details there. It's super expensive to join my channel, $4.99 a month. But every single one of those makes a difference. So anyway, 
um, there's my news. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.